So I just came back from a very quick trip in Japan, and one thing I love about Japan is that they take such care of their ingredients, their food, and their dishes. Um, to give you an example, um, if you were someone that never tried grapes before, never tried a peach before, and you were to ask someone to describe the flavor of a grape or the flavor of a peach, the Japanese have been able to take that description and actually put it in the ingredients. It, it's it's mind blowing. Like when you try their Kyoho grapes or their very expensive peaches you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. It's exactly how it should taste. Um, one thing I love about Japan also, we, we had a katsu meal. Um, and of course, katsu comes with a nice pork cutlet that's breaded and deep fried, uh, but never gets too oily. A perfectly cooked bowl of almost sticky, but not really white rice. And then right next to it, there's usually some sort of shaved cabbage salad with a sesame dressing. Now, yesterday when I came back home here to the Philippines, um, I was actually craving for that sesame dressing. Um, I've tried it for jicama or carrot sticks, and it's really great. It's a great pack, a great match, a uh, great pairing. But all the, the, the different sesame dressings that I checked out in the restaurant, when I turned it around, it said flavor enhancer, um, basically it had MSG in it. So um, I, I, I came home thinking, damn, you know, I'm really craving this thing, let's just try to make it. So I, I made this really quick sesame sauce that tastes very good, um, very solid, and that you can also modify in terms of sweetness and saltiness depending on your flavor profile and your palate, which I think is great. And the best part about it, no MSG. Check it out. So we're first going to start by toasting about three tablespoons of sesame seeds here on a medium-high fire until it basically gets a little brown or until one, or, one, two, or three of the seeds start popping a little, then you know it's ready. When I've got something nice and toasted just like that, you see how a uh, little discoloration happened. It got at least a little bit more color in terms of brown. I'm actually gonna use French mayonnaise this time. You can actually buy this one. Um, and you, the only reason why I'm doing this because if you buy Japanese mayonnaise, um, more often than not, you'll actually have uh, some kind of MSG in there, a flavor enhancer, which I'm not a fan of. So I'm just gonna add this French mayonnaise in there, about two tablespoons. And then to that, we're gonna add uh, two tablespoons, same amount of um, rice vinegar here. So two tablespoons of that. And then to the mix, I'm just gonna add about, um, about one half teaspoon of mirin, so just a little bit of that. One half teaspoon as well of sesame oil, which goes in there, so half teaspoon in there. Then we're gonna be adding uh, usually you add some, some sort of sugar, but I'm just going to add a little bit of honey here. I'm just going to add not even one teaspoon of honey just in there. And then finally, we're going to finish off with some soy sauce, of course. I'm going to add one tablespoon and one half in there. So one tablespoon and then one half. Now, very simply enough, I'm just going to give that a good mix. And now with the help of our pestle and mortar here, I'm just gonna crush all this until I have a fine, fine, thicker uh, paste. Really hope you guys enjoyed that one. So please, please subscribe to the video. There's a lot more coming. Um, let me know what kind of recipes you want to see, what kind of food you want me to make, what kind of health aspects you want me to attack, and I will make it for you. So just please make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. See you soon, guys.